Hey there everybody, good morning, welcome. It's Tuesday, it's a little bit after seven, and it's time for another installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. You know, one of the disappointing things about having to work the keys while I'm doing this is while the intro's playing, you guys miss out on me doing a little... Anyway, yeah, it's probably a good thing. Hey, good morning. Uh, happy Tuesday. Thanks for being here with me this morning. My name is Tom Rigsby and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning. show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. And because it's Tuesday, we have the long hour-long show coming up later today. In fact, at the top of the next hour at 8 o'clock, you can listen to that, watch that, participate in that show, just like you can participate in this one, at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Now, Speaking of participating in this show, you can do what Catherine's done. Leave a comment, say hello, good morning, how you doing? Whatever strikes your fancy. I'll read the comments, I'll reply to them, and it doesn't matter if you're watching live or on the replay. Yesterday was a replay. Every once in a while, I think I've told you guys this before, I, I have a client who um, just prefers to meet at 7 a.m. So every once in a while, I have to pre-record the show. That's what I did yesterday, but I did get to watch live uh, while it was running, watch the comments. So thank you guys that were there and commented and participated yesterday. Appreciate that. Today, I want to talk about whether you are the right person for the job. Oh, I have a little friend running along the fence back there. Do you see it? Oh, that fence. That fence right there. Um, Joe's going to have to, I'll have to go get the chicken out of the office and bring him out here. Oh, uh, well, not. I'll get that figured out, Joe. Promise. All right, so today, talking about whether you're the right person for the job or not. This is in, in the context of the week where we're talking about how to, how to be in control, how to take control um, of what's going on in our lives, in our business. You know, one of the things that happens sometimes is we make compromises. We say, well... I'll do this job for a little while to get to X and then you know 10 years later you're getting your 10 year anniversary you know gift or prize or bonus or whatever I'm like holy crap how'd that happen and even so along the way there are days where you you get up and you're like oh, I, really, I just don't want to do this anymore that's a giant red flag folks now that doesn't mean, I'm not trying to say that every day will be great when you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. There'll be tough days. There'll be some days where you're really tired. There'll be days where you know, you know, yesterday was a real butt kicker. I think I'll take the day off today. Those, those days happen. But when you string together day after day after day after day where you're just not, it's just not doing it for you. Work that matters. You know, I, I talk all the time about how you are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. Well, work that matters should energize you and challenge you, right? And if it's not, then something's wrong. And you have to look around. All of these, you know, kind of all these little pieces start working together. It's like the puzzle, right? All the pieces are on the table and you begin to see how they fit together. If day after day you're, it's a challenge for you to get up and go to work or to get up and go open the shop, then you have to really consider, am I really working in my gifts and talents? Am I using them the way I'm supposed to? Because when you do that, when you are using your gifts and talents the way you're supposed to, 99.99% .99 of your days will be energized energizing, challenging, fulfilling, they'll be good days. So when you're having a string of bad days, the first thing you should consider is this really what I'm supposed to do. Now the other thing, and we might have to save this for another day, 
you can go through seasons where this is the right thing for this period of time, but it's not the right thing forever. Right. Well, you know, I was, I was writing the post for um, for for this show this morning, actually, and you know, kind of came across this idea that um, it, it, every once in a while, having a bad day is okay. In fact, you know, kind of leveraging off of yesterday or Sunday, sometimes we need bad days to help us appreciate good days, right? So. So to have a challenging day is not a bad thing. To have a couple of challenging days when you're trying when you're trying to reach a tough goal, it's tough. That's okay. But when there are too many of them strung together in a row, it's time to ask, you know, am, am I doing the right thing? That's really what I wanted, kind of the message I wanted to get across today. Because I, I know that I hear from from folks all the time. I, I'd like to do something else, but, and then I get the whole laundry list of mental obstacles that they put in their way. So I want to challenge you right away. If, if this is not what you're supposed to do, then logically we can easily get our head wrapped around the idea that I should stop. Right? If you want the same results everybody else is getting, then do the same things everybody else is doing. And, and, and one final thought I'll leave you with here. You know, we've been sold this idea that go to school, study hard, work hard, get a good job, work for 30, 40 years, then you can live the good life. I think you should live the good life every day. You should enjoy what you do. Be fulfilled by what you do. And if you're not, you need to look. Seriously, take a look if that's the right thing for you to do. All right, that's it. Remember, the radio show is coming up at the top of the next hour. I'm going to hustle up and get out of here and get down there and get that thing ready to go. I'd love it if you'd join me. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. Thank you, Catherine, Joe, and Jessica for being here this morning. You have to choose to get your butt out of the way. <laughs> that's true. Your butt, B-U-T. And B-U-T-T. Yeah, both of them. You guys are great. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday. Uh, take care.